Hello, everybody, and welcome to Managerial Accounting 1B at Saddleback College. This, I thought it would be helpful to go through the syllabus's um, key points so that you would not at all be confused as you're going through the course. Okay, let's take a look. You, of course, can access this syllabus in Canvas um, and have your own copy as well. So here are some of the key information. My name, the ticket number, um, the fact that it's entirely online, we call that asynchronous. And this course presumes that you have had account counting 1A, financial accounting uh, for um, or the equivalent. Okay, this tends to be a little bit of a long document, so I've provided a table of contents so you can find certain things during the course. First of all, let's talk about uh, Zoom. Um, as this course is deployed entirely online, you won't need Zoom. However, I am offering at no extra cost, uh, extra credit, optional live streaming tutoring sessions on Saturday morning from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. And they're intended for you to bring me any problems or clarifications or um, whatever to those sessions. Um, I share that with another 1B course. So I will send you a link to that in announcements. You earn two extra credit points if you do come um, up to a maximum of 20 points. And um, those are usually a lot of fun. Um, like uh, Zoom, we have Proctorio requiring the use of Google Chrome, a webcam, a microphone, and having internet access, all of which are required for the course, whether or not you attend the Zoom sessions or not. Proctorio needs that. So here's our course learning objectives. You can read those on your own. And as student learning outcomes, you can read those on your own. Let's talk about the textbook a little bit. Here, it's the same textbook that you had for 1A if you've taken it recently at Saddleback or Irvine Valley College. Um, it's the seventh edition. And you need to have the um, connect codes. You won't have to buy them again if you've already pre if you've already purchased them for the 1A course. <clears throat> um, last I checked, this costs about $123.50 to the student to purchase these materials. You need the connect codes. Um, I've been I was asked to sit on the textbook selection committee, and I don't think you can beat the price that we were able to negotiate from McGraw-Hill, who is the publisher of that textbook, and Connect. So um, here, you want to be sure you get the right information here for that, for that uh, textbook. You can get them at the bookstore, or um, you can go on to the Saddleback website and order them. I would purchase these new textbook materials immediately if you already don't have them. Um, these access codes are good for 18 months. So again, if you took 1A in the last 18 months, you don't need to rebuy that. If in fact you have you don't have that, um, a free two-week trial is available. So you can get Connect and the ebook. So there's no reason to delay starting your homework assignments right away. It's critical to hit the ground running in this course. It moves very quickly. Okay, and so this tells you a little bit about how to use your 20-digit code in applying for your student account uh, or how to get your free trial. Um, so you can, again, look at that on your own. One thing I will focus on, though, when you're doing your assignments, you can use save and execute, save and exit here 
but don't hit submit until you're ready for all those assignments to be counted in points and transferred then over from Connect to Canvas. I think most of you are a little familiar with this, so I won't spend too much time on that, but don't hit the submit button till you're ready for it to count, okay? Um, all right, McGraw-Hill Technical Support, if you have any trouble, they're there to help. They are very helpful people. Um, they're the ones to help you with any problems with McGraw-Hill access, not me. They're the experts. Okay, there's a presumption that you have some basic computer proficiency. Um, electronic devices um, are fine, except during um, our tutoring sessions or exams. A simple calculator, very helpful for this course. This is mine. If you see it down here, it's all of $10 at the bookstore. Um, it's all you'll need for this course. I say that yet at the end of the course, we will be using Excel. So you may want to get started downloading that if you don't already have it on your computer. It's free for students free. It's how I downloaded mine, and you're entitled to that. That used to cost $750 for a subscription to Office, and you get it for free. So um, that doesn't mean Google Docs or Google Sheets or one of the cloud-based systems. You need the actual Excel on your computer to for, it, for us to be able to work in the last chapter of the book. Okay, uh, email for the course. If you email me, use this in the subject field. Um, that lets me know what class you're in. I teach at a variety of different places and this makes sure that I can identify you quickly and get back to you as fast as possible. All right, my site in Canvas, um, the only thing I would say there, be sure you have your personal data up to speed in my site. Every now and then I need to get in touch with you, usually at the end of the course to clarify something. So if you don't, if you don't have that up to date, I'm not going to know how to get in touch with you, and that will probably not work in your favor. Okay, there's student technical support here at Saddleback. They're great people. They want to help you succeed, as do I. Um, there's um, um, also Canvas technical support here as well. And they are available 24-7. <laughs> I once thought that was maybe a little misleading, but I called them on Christmas Eve at about 10 o'clock at night, and they were there. <laughs> So in any event, great people to work with if you have any Canvas technical issues. Um, free online tutoring. Um, here, we're talking about NetTutor. Uh, that's a service to which Saddleback subscribes, and you can get some tutoring that way. Now, if I remember right, I might have gone by it. So please feel free to use these free resources if you're having difficulty with the subject topic or subject matter, and you may not be available for my Saturday morning sessions. You can earn up to 20 extra credit points using NetTutor 2. I give you one, ha I give you one point for every hour you spend with them, instead of two points per hour spent with me. Okay. Uh, due dates, due dates you'll see here in a second at the end, um, very clear where they are. Um, if you need to withdraw from the course, do it yourself. Um, failing withdrawals, um, that would be someone who drops early and doesn't get a technical, still an F, but they wouldn't be eligible for some financial aid. Okay, I talked about that. Here's the points for the class. And what we have here is five points for the icebreaker discussion due right away. Discussion questions, we have four of them worth 10 points each. 
we have a group project, which I think you're really going to enjoy and get a lot out of. Two exams worth 200 points each. And then we have four quizzes, 50 points each, and we drop the lowest quiz. So it's worth 150 points in total. And then our homework problems, all worth 900 points. I talked about tutoring previously, but there's other extra credit points available too. Interactive presentations here in McGraw-Hill Connect, great source of information there. And I find that students that do that extra credit are much more likely to get an A in the course, and I'd love to see everybody do that. Um, additionally, there's a practice proctorial quiz worth five extra credit points. In total, you can earn 7.2%, um, not including the extra credit tutoring points. So if you max out on the extra credit tutoring points, that's worth a total of 10% on top of these uh, 900 points. Other than that, there'll be no extra credit um, opportunities, most likely. Uh, the standard uh, grading scale is used in this course. You can look at that. Um, assignments, um, here on page 15, we'll go through that in a second. You'll be able to see when those assignments are due. Um, we cover all these, these uh, chapters. And um, here, I think we will look at the homework, you get three shots at doing that, three Ooh. attempts. Check your work feature. You can use both of these without penalty. And when the, you know, my intention here is probably pretty obvious. I want you to get the course content. Sometimes that takes more than one attempt. Okay, again, don't press that submit button until you're ready for that to count. Now, uh, quizzes and exams. Um, the quizzes are not proctored by Proctorio. They are in Connect, whereas the final exam is in Canvas. Okay, the exams will cover the material and work covered in class, and um, I think you will find them uh, challenging, and we'll go from there. Be prepared, though, to present your photo identification card to the Proctorio screen. You hold it up like I'm kind of doing now to my, my uh, webcam and before you start the test. So that's why I have uh, the practice Proctorio quiz, so that um, you don't have any technical difficulties or if you do, they've been ironed out well before the start of the exam. The final exam will cover the chapters not covered by the midterm exam. So you'll see that here in a second. And uh, the four quizzes we talked about, group project, I won't spend too much time on that now, but you can read a little bit about that. This is generally information from chapter 24. and. At the end of that, one member of the team will electronically submit a paper, the Excel spreadsheet, um, et cetera, and I will put everybody into teams somewhere closer to our um, due date for that, which is Monday, May 16th at midnight. All right, um, classroom participation and discussion. Questions? Um, I encourage you to call me on the phone if you have any problems. But here, these questions on the discussion questions are worth 10 points each. And again, I don't mind you giving me a phone call um, or an email for that matter, even better, but no texting, please. Okay, that looks like a good place to stop this first video. And when we return, We'll continue with the syllabus. Until then, bye for now.